Hello, this is Paolo and in this video I'm going to show you how we are going to create this cool image with one of the new features of Reality 3.1 and that is the support for Smart IBL sets. Smart IBL is a spec that has been defined by the fine people at hdrlabs.com this is their website and if we click on the smart IBL menu here and then on the smart IBL or Cybol archive here we see a page with a series of IBL sets. Now in case you're not familiar IBL stands for image based lighting and uh, it's a great technique for creating very realistic images because the entire lighting of the scene can be obtained from light values that are embedded in the photo. And since the map, the source of the, of the lighting is coming from a real photo, the result is very realistic. Nice thing about Cybol is that a smart IBL package, a smart IBL set, includes all the data, all the information necessary for setting up the scene correctly. Now, before Reality 3.1, we could use components of the smart IBL set, but uh, you had to poke around, you had to do a few things manually, and uh, there was no preview. With Reality 3.1, we have a lot more ease of use and it takes literally one click and I'll show you how we can do it. So basically all these sets are available for download which is very nice and um, when you download them you end up with the zip file. So for the purpose of our example of our test I use this the helipad golden hour. The golden hour is either sunset or sunrise uh, with the sun really dramatic and uh, quite saturated it's an orange kind of light and it's called the golden hour because it's generally the most impressive time of the day for shooting landscapes I put this in my desktop under this directory here so it's a helipad golden hour and then you double click on it and uh, it will expand into a directory so here are all the files and of course you're looking at this thing is in your thinking uh, what do I do with all this don't worry it's very very easy we don't have to worry about anything but this is basically the content of this zip file so let's switch back to poser I have my scene set up already um, this is just for the purpose of this presentation for doing things a little faster and um, we can see in the hierarchy I just have the ground and this spaceship the ground is hidden so I switch to reality I call reality and I go into my lights and I click on IBL there's nothing here so I need to select an IBL file there are several formats available but reality 3.1 has a very easy way of setting up the entire environment. Notice that here the light is disabled and if we go to Poser there's nothing here. Okay, that will change pretty quickly. So I click on the change button and navigate into the location where I have my IBL light which is the underscore IBL folder in my desktop double click on the folder helipad golden hour and then I click on the dot IBL file I forget about all this I don't care about all these other files just click on the dot IBL file and then click on open confirm it and you see that even though I selected the dot IBL file now here I see the dot HDR basically reality open the IBL file looked inside, look all the information uh, necessary for setting up the scene, found out that the background and uh, light information map is this one here. Don't need to know why. 
It changed also the gamma value. All these pictures have their own gamma value that is set by the person who created that package. We don't have to worry about that. Reality automatically sets the gamma value correctly. And since we have selected an IBL file, uh, reality correctly deducted that um, we want this light to be enabled. Now, if we go to poser, look at this. The background is set. So basically, with the reality 3.1, we have a reality IBL sphere, which is not rendered. It's just for the purpose of positioning the, the, the camera and the background correctly, because I can click on this and then I can rotate the parameter can have any portion of the scene available in this way there's no guesswork anymore i can just set this scene right here for example and when i switch back to reality the rotation is synced see it's y rotation 54 degrees y rotation 54 degrees so at this point, I have no other lights in this scene, okay? This is the only light. I go to my render tab where I have the, the name of the files that I want to create and I'll, uh, I'll call this Spaceship and I'll change the name for the Lux render file as well. Spaceship. And now I can render. And with only one light, we will be able to see exactly the same background and exactly the correct lighting. The whole point of creating realistic images is that the, the model in this case matches the lighting of the environment. And this tower, this squares tower here, this glass tower here with the name on top when we check on poser that's exactly the same configuration so this is how easy it is to create a background with ibl image corrected and we see that the lighting is perfectly matching look at the spot here of sun on the nose of the spaceship as it will finish rendering it will progress and refine 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 it will become clearer and clearer to the point of the result i gave you at the beginning so a couple of things to keep in mind when i select the smart ibl file reality automatically creates the reality ibl sphere it sets the map correctly it does all this setup which is really nice. Now it can happen, right now I am in the main camera, it can happen that I want to switch to another camera. So maybe I want to go to the auxiliary camera. And all of a sudden, the background doesn't seem to be there. It is there. It actually is there. The deal is that in order to show this background correctly so basically to emulate the projection that lux render does in its own environment i had to create a sphere that is really huge it's a very large sphere and um, poser by default clips the distance where a camera can see so let me show you this if i select the camera now i am in the auxiliary camera so I select this camera here and now I see the parameters now, there are two parameters that you might be familiar with hither and yawn yawn is basically the limit in distance where the camera can see so beyond this point which is right now expressed in meters for me because I have my interface set to meters so basically it's 262 meters well beyond that distance any object that is there is not visible by the camera it's still there but it's not visible by the camera so 
In this case, I have meters. If you use a different unit of measure, you need to adjust it. But let's say that I want to use five kilometers. Boom, now I see it. So at this point, the camera sees the background. And the other thing, so now I'm all set. Now, the other thing is, you might think, oh, why is the background so blurry? Well, right now, the focal length of this auxiliary camera is 18 millimeters, which is kind of a telephoto lens. Now, this set, this CD landscape was shot with a wide angle lens. So something around 15 millimeters. And so there is a discrepancy in the, in the lens. So if we simply change this to something like this, now you see the scene correctly. Okay, so everything is adjustable, everything is okay. You, are, you don't have to set it to 15 millimeters. You can set the lens to anything you want. I'm just trying to explain what's going on. When you set the map, when you set the IBL scene with reality, reality automatically sets the yawn parameter for the current camera, the camera that was active in that moment. And we were in the main camera. So since the main camera was active when I selected here, this file, then reality automatically adjusts that camera so that we can see the background, but it doesn't do that for every camera in the scene, okay? So just remember that if you switch it to a different camera and the background doesn't show, then change the yawn parameter. Cameras, auxiliary camera, change the yawn parameter. Let's try again. If I switch to the posing camera, for example, here we are. Well, the posing camera seems to have, oh, if I switch to the posing camera here in the view. Boom, again, I don't see the background, okay? So I have the posing camera in the parameters. I go to the yawn parameter, select 5000 in this case. And I see again, and this is actually a nice, nice angle, really a nice scene. It would be great to render it from this lens, from this camera. So smart IBL support directly in reality 3.1 for poser, one click setup for the scene, the background and the gamma values. It couldn't get any easier than this. Go to HDR labs, Dot com. They have dozens of these IBL sets and uh, they are all ready to be used. And please check with the licensing because some of those have more restrictive licenses. But this is a great resource for uh, 3D artists and uh, don't forget to thank them. So this is it. Uh, my name is Paolo Ciccone for Preta 3D, the makers of reality. And I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.